Who was the Lion of Punjab, and why does his roar echo still in the annals of Indian history? The tale begins on November 13, 1780, in Gujranwala, a city that now lies within the borders of Pakistan. There, a child named Ranjit Singh was born, destined to become the founder and leader of the Sikh Empire in the early 19th century. His reign, distinguished by military might, administrative brilliance, and cultural patronage, has shaped the history of the Indian subcontinent in profound ways. By the tender age of 21, Ranjit Singh had ascended the throne. It was the year 1801, and a fragmented Punjab awaited unity. Singh rose to this challenge, uniting the scattered Sikh missiles or confederacies through a blend of military strategy and diplomacy. His efforts bore fruit, resulting in a centralized Sikh state with Lahore as its heart. Singh's military innovation was nothing short of extraordinary. He modernized the Sikh army, embracing European tactics and weaponry. This metamorphosis, coupled with his leadership, allowed him to widen his empire, adding regions such as Multan, Kashmir, and Peshawar. The annexation of Lahore in 1799 was a turning point, solidifying his hold over a large part of the Northwest. Earning the moniker Lion of Punjab, Singh's governance was secular and inclusive. He promoted religious harmony, granting people of diverse faiths the freedom to practice their religion without fear. This policy fostered a sense of unity among the varied communities in his empire. Singh's diplomatic skills, shown in the Treaty of Amritsar of 1809 with the British East India Company. By cultivating friendly relations, he managed external threats, preserving relative peace in the region. Under his reign, the Sikh empire thrived culturally and economically, transforming Lahore into a hub for arts, literature and commerce. Singh's architectural patronage left a lasting mark on the landscape, with landmarks like the Lahore Fort and the Golden Temple, Harmandir Sahib, reflecting the splendor of Sikh culture. His support for the Punjabi language further enriched the cultural tapestry of his empire, yet Singh's later years were marred by health problems. He suffered a debilitating stroke in 1839, and his declining health triggered internal conflicts and power struggles among his successors. Singh breathed his last on June 27, 1839. In the wake of his death, the Sikh Empire grappled with challenges, leading to the Anglo-Sikh Wars in the 1840s. The British, exploiting the internal discord, gradually annexed Sikh territories, culminating in the annexation of Punjab in 1849. This marked the end of Singh's legacy, and the onset of British dominance in the region. Maharaja Ranjit Singh's life serves as a testament to Sikh resilience, unity and cultural vibrancy. His ability to unite a fragmented region, his military successes and his dedication to religious and cultural harmony continue to resonate, making him a cherished figure in the history of the Indian subcontinent. His legacy lives on, reminding us of a time when the Lion of Punjab roared and the world listened.